welcome back to the fourth and final episode of the Trading with Trend core learning series. In this episode, we are finally going to discuss what everyone's been waiting for, how to trade with the trend. I'm not going to go super in depth into any particular strategy. If you want a direct handheld approach and exact rules and indicators, you can join our premium Meerkat group. But in this video, I'm going to break down the general basics of how we trade a trend and a few different free ways to catch the pullbacks. Hopefully you have our PDF downloaded. And at the very end of the PDF, we break down how to trade the trend. So I'm just going to go ahead and start by reading through the PDF real quick, and then we can get into some real chart examples. After spending years of studying markets, trading strategies, and price action, I finally came to the conclusion that trading can be as easy or as complicated as you want it to be. Using a more complex strategy does not mean that you will be more profitable either. So what's the point? I want my trading to be as easy to understand and as easy to execute on as possible. This way I can take the guesswork out of it and let my edge play out in a consistent way. This allows me to grow my account over time. If you feel this strategy is too simplistic to work in real markets, I would urge you to do some backtesting for yourself and tally up the results. And I think that you'll be pleasantly surprised. The most important thing is to choose a strategy and stick to it. You will not be able to master it within a single day or week. Spend some time to get to know your strategy and the market you want to trade in, make it your own, and your patience will be rewarded. For the best results in our trend following strategy, we want to be sure that we have a solid trend established on both a higher and lower time frame. When I am scalping with trend on the 15 minute or lower time frames, I want to know that I am trading the trend on the daily and one hour charts. One, I will use trendy, the trendy indicator on the daily chart to look for a trend on any given instrument. In this example, on this, in the PDF, we're going to use light crude oil futures. If I see a well-established trend on the daily chart, I will then go look at the one hour chart. If I see a well-established trend in the same direction on the daily, I now have my bias for the day. As you can see in the example below, both the daily and the one hour charts show well-established downtrend. If the chart on the daily and one hours are aligned with each other, it means that we are good to look for scalp trades on the lower time frames in the same direction as the higher time frame trends. So you can see this is the daily chart on the left, and it's in a downtrend, and you can tell that by the arrows at the top of the screen and also the EMAs. And this is the hourly chart, it's also in a downtrend, which you can tell by the arrows at the top of the screen. Trade ex entry conditions example one. On the 15 minute chart, Wait for a pullback against the trend to form. You may draw a trend line as shown below to help you see when the shorter counter trend move is broken and a continuation in the direction of the main trend is likely to continue. Trade entry is a clear break of the pullback. In this example, you can see a large bearish engulfing candle break our trend line, which also breaks the market structure for continuation in the short direction. So let's look at this in depth here. So you can see that we're in a downward trend, right? And we're in that downward trend and then it breaks the downward trend and it starts to trade upwards with an upwards counter trend. You can draw a trend line at the bottom of that upwards pullback to understand when it gets broken. You can see with this little footnote here that there's a large bearish candle breaking through the counter trend trend line. That is an indicator that the trend is going to continue downwards. Target at least 1.5 RR, and then if the price reaches your target, you may trail your stop loss for a higher RR if you feel like the trade will continue to run in your favor. This is one of the benefits to trading with the overall trend. It's far more likely to keep continuing, and you can normally get a very good trailing RR. So let's look at this one more time. As you can see here, we're in a downtrend, and we're in a downtrend here. This is the end of that downtrend, and then there's an uptrend pullback. Okay? We're waiting for this trend line of the pullback to break, and then the price will continue to free fall with the original direction of the trend. So there's some more examples here. Market conditions example two. In this example, we see a classic micro double top formation. You may draw a trend line as shown below to help you see when the shorter counter trend move is broken for a continuation in the direction of the main trend. Trend entry is a clear break of the pullback. So again, let's look at this. We're in a downtrend, which is indicated by the arrows at the top of the screen and also the EMAs. Okay, so we have the downtrend and a downtrend. And right here, you can see there's a large uptrend, which is a pullback. It pulls back above an EMA even. 
a double top is formed, it breaks through our trend line. And you could have entered anywhere where it broke this trend line. As soon as it breaks the trend line, it goes down. The footnote reads, a micro double top formation closing back above and below the 21 EMA in a well-established downtrend. Entry as soon as the, a candle closes below the swing low formed in the two peaks. Set your stop loss at the nearest EMA above and target at least 1.5. So it pulls back and creates this double top before continuing lower. A perfect entry would have been right here, but who knows, maybe you got as soon as it broke the trend line over here and you would have been fine no matter what, as long as you targeted, you know, an EMA above. Okay. You will all often find multiple entries using this technique. Once again, we use trend lines to help us see when the shorter counter trend move is broken for continuation in the direction of the main trend. Trade entry is a clear break of the pullback. So here we go again. Let's look at this example. All right. So we're in a downtrend. And then our downtrend stops and we get a pullback. The pullback is large enough that we can draw a trend line underneath it. And as soon as this trend line is broken, we are giving it, we are given an entry. You can see again here that then it continues the downtrend before another big pullback. You can draw a trend line for that pullback. And then you can see as soon as it breaks this, this trend line, which is this candle here, you're given another entry. So that is the basics of the strategy. Essentially, you're identifying a trend, which we explained in our last video, and then you're waiting for that trend to pull back. There's a thousand different ways to determine a pullback, but we're not going to go extremely in depth into any one of those ways. You can go to my YouTube channel and I explain hundreds of different ways to trade the pullback or to identify a pullback. But in this strategy, a pullback is just, it's very easy to see. It's a move against the trend strong enough where you can draw a trend line under it. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at the live chart. You know what, let's put this in replay mode even. And we'll go full screen. All right, and let's take a look. So at this point, we don't have a clear trend direction, a lot of rainbows. This is what I call when the price is rapidly switching. So we're waiting for a more established trend to form. At this point, we have a downtrend marker and the EMAs are starting to beautifully fan out. From the start of trading to this point has been about an hour on the three minute chart. So at this point, we can say that we've been in a downtrend for a full hour and our EMAs have fanned out very nicely. At this point, I feel like it would be safe to say that we're in a downtrend. So what I'm going to start looking for is major pullbacks. Okay, so right here, you can see that it kind of starts to form a reverse trend. And the price starts to start matching, it comes up and matches this recent high, as well as crosses over this 21 EMA. So I knew I just drew a lot of stuff here. So let's just recap one more time. First, it starts to trade counter trend. You have one, two, three, four candles trading counter trend. Second, it reaches and breaks the recent high. Third, it breaks below or it breaks through the 21 EMA. Okay. At this point, you have this trend line here. And then price rapidly breaks through the trend line breaking back down through the 21 EMA and continuing with the trend. At this point, I feel like it would be safe to put in a nice little uh, trade here with a 17 point stop loss reaching up to the 50 EMA. As always, we like to target a 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Okay, and right here, it gives us another counter trend opportunity, right? We just broke, let me shorten this one for you guys. We just broke the downtrend. We breached the EMA. And at this point, when we start to break this trend line and continue back with the trend, you could get an entry here or here. All right, and there we go. We just hit take profit on all of these trades. Okay, so we have a few more opportunities here. There's one right here where it's going counter trend. And there's an even stronger counter trend move here that breaches the EMA. At this point, you're definitely getting a nice entry here. 
and you're going to run it to here. If you would have entered on this breach here, maybe you would have went right on there. Okay, so you can see all I'm doing is I'm getting these pullbacks. Now it's gonna be up to you to determine how strong of the pullback you want to trade. You're gonna to have to back test, keep your journals and figure that out for yourself. Is this three move strong enough for you? Or are you waiting for it to have a four candle move above and break through an EMA and have, and have a very strong bearish candle breaking through it to confirm your bias? So you really wanna see these strong trends and likely when if you're going to win the first trade you're going to win several trades after if the if the trend is confirmed very strong so this is the perfect example of trading the trend riding the wave trading the pullbacks so i hope that this really showed you guys how we're trading the trend what we're looking for and how you can start experimenting on the charts today and maybe even become profitable if you enjoyed this series and you want to learn more about trading with trend and our exact strategy, the Meerkat, you can check that out in the Meerkat overview channel. We have a lot of great information there as well as four more videos going in depth on the Meerkat strategy, weekly live premium sessions and one-on-one -on -one training with Jimbo and myself. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and good luck trading.